Hi, thanks for joining the interview today. Let's start with some basic questions. Can you briefly tell me what AI and ML are? Sure. AI stands for artificial intelligence, and it's the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines. It involves tasks like reasoning, learning, and problem solving. ML or machine learning is a subset of AI that focuses on building algorithms and models that allow machines to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. It's all about getting better at tasks through experience or more data. Nice explanation. Can you give an example of how machine learning is used in real life? Yes. One common example is in email spam filters. These systems use machine learning to classify emails as spam or not spam based on patterns they've learned from previous data. The more emails they analyze, the better they get at detecting spam. That's a good example. So, what are some types of machine learning? There are three main types. One, supervised learning. The model learns from labeled data, where the correct output is already provided. An example is predicting house prices based on historical data. Two, unsupervised learning. Here, the model tries to learn from unlabeled data. It looks for patterns or groups, like clustering customers based on purchase behavior. Three, reinforcement learning. This is where an agent learns by interacting with an environment and receiving feedback in the form of rewards or penalties. It's commonly used in robotics and gaming. Great. Now, what is overfitting in machine learning and how can we avoid it? Overfitting happens when a model learns the details of the training data too well, including the noise, so it performs poorly on new unseen data. It's like memorizing the answers to specific questions instead of understanding the subject. To avoid overfitting, we can use techniques like cross-validation, regularization, or even get more training data. Good. Let's talk about a specific algorithm. Can you explain how a decision tree works? Sure. A decision tree is a flowchart-like structure where each internal node represents a decision based on a feature, and each leaf node represents a class label or prediction. For example, in a decision tree predicting whether someone will buy a product, the nodes might be based on age, income, etc. The tree splits the data at each decision point to make the best possible prediction at the leaves. Sounds clear. Can you tell me what's the difference between classification and regression? Classification is when we predict a category or class, like deciding whether an email is spam or not. Regression, on the other hand, is when we predict a continuous value like forecasting the price of a house based on its features like size, location, and age. Good. Moving on to tools and libraries, can you name a few popular ones for machine learning and why you like them? Yes. Some of the popular ones include Scikit-Learn. It's great for basic ML algorithms and easy to use for beginners. TensorFlow and Keras. These are excellent for deep learning tasks. They allow building complex neural networks and are very efficient. PyTorch. It's popular for research and prototyping because of its dynamic computation graph. Each tool has its strengths depending on the task, but I personally like Scikit-Learn for quick prototyping and TensorFlow for more complex deep learning projects. That's a solid list. Can you explain what a neural network is? A neural network is a model inspired by how the human brain works. It's made up of layers of nodes, neurons. Each node is connected to others by weights, and the output of one node becomes the input of the next. When you train a neural network, the weights are adjusted to minimize the error in the predictions. It's widely used for tasks like image recognition and natural language processing. Great, you seem to have a solid understanding. Can you also explain what hyperparameters are in machine learning? Hyperparameters are settings we choose before training a model, like the learning rate or the number of trees in a random forest. These are not learned by the model but are set manually. Tuning hyperparameters is important for achieving good performance in a model. Thanks. Last question. What's your approach to troubleshooting a machine learning model that isn't performing well? First, I would check the data quality. Sometimes poor data or data imbalances can hurt model performance. Then I would evaluate if the model is overfitting or underfitting. Depending on the problem, I might try adjusting the model complexity, adding regularization, or getting more data. I would also test different algorithms to see if they give better results. Lastly, I would analyze the feature engineering process to ensure that the right features are being used. Thanks for all your answers. You seem to have a strong understanding of the basics. We'll get back to you soon. Thank you for your time. 
I appreciate the opportunity to interview.